Hi, I've lost over 70 pounds and I've kept it off. And I'm going to tell you today how, at the end of the day, I am reaching my nutrition goals. Don't, I'm editing this now and just realizing I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jack Attack. I make realistic and relatable health and fitness videos. I used to be obese and now I'm fit and I make videos that I wish I knew about when I was obese. First, let's talk about perfection. I am not perfect with my nutrition goals by any means, but when you look at a calendar view of me hitting my goals, I'm hitting them almost every single day, but I'm not perfect. So let's talk about perfect for a moment. Perfect is impossible, unattainable, and a setup for disappointment. So let's stop striving for it, okay? Done is better than perfect. Just like this video, it won't be perfect, but it's great practice for me. The fear of my YouTube videos not being perfect has kept me from uploading for so long. Not anymore. I don't care how many views this video gets. I am here speaking about what I believe to be helpful and what I wish I knew and what I wish people would tell me about when I was in the beginning of my journey. I'm striving to be that person that I wish I had next to me when I started my journey as an obese person. I cannot let fear hold me back of what I want to do in life. Be scared and do it anyway. Being disciplined is also not being perfect. Someone who is disciplined with their goals is not perfect at hitting their goals all the time, but they are committed to these goals. They make a plan for these goals and they follow through. If that follow through happens to fall off, they get right back on track because they are committed to a goal. That's what discipline is. As for me, I may be disciplined, but I still have those out of control days. Recently, I had a night where I binged. One little chip bag led to another and I was out of control. Before you know it, the kitchen garbage was filled with various wrappers of granola bars and Reese's Pieces. And you know, when you have a sweet snack and you want a salty snack and then you need a sweet snack to counteract the salty and then you just go back and forth between sweet and salty, you know? Plus the sink had my empty cereal bowl that I had to finish the night. Who doesn't love a good bowl of cereal, right? But tonight, I'm having a night where I am completely in control. Most of my nights look like this in control night. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Over the years of learning consistency and discipline, I've learned some tips and tricks that help me hit my goals almost every single day, and I'm gonna share them with you today. I'll share with you all my tips and tricks. Silly Steve, tricks are for kids. Practicing control is how we gain discipline. All right, I'm gonna eat some food, hit the gym, and we'll meet back up here after dinner for late night snack time, okay? Okay. It's evening now, bitches. Ah, yes! Late night snack time. Now I'm bulking, so my late night snack is gonna look a lot different than your late night snack, but uh, you know, to each their own. So my first tip, the obvious tip, let's just get this one out of the way, is I track my food. Not only do I track it, but I pre-track it. So I make sure that all of this fits in my nutrition goals for the day. That's my first and best tip. If you're tracking and pre-tracking, it just makes it so much easier. Plus, all food is guilt-free. All food is guilt-free. Stevie. Step two is setting an intention. So tonight, I intend to eat this tray of snacks. Yes, Hades, that is correct. I intend to eat this whole tray of snacks because I'm a bulking babe. Hades. <laughs> Tonight, I intend to eat this tray of snacks and that is it. After this, my intention is to stop eating for the rest of the evening. Setting my intention, saying it out loud, which helps when my roommate is here, slash my bestie, because if I say it out loud and then I go to grab another snack after, she can hold me accountable, but didn't you, didn't you say, I thought I heard you say, after you eat your tray, you're done, hmm, 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 yeah. 
accountability. Plus, when I set the intention that I intend to eat this and then I'm done for the day, I know that I am following through with my meal plan, which means I'm hitting my goals, which means I will reach the bigger goals that I have. All my little mini goals are part of bigger other goals that I have. Smashing all these goals increases the confidence I have in myself. When I say I'm going to eat this and then I am done and I stick to it, that increases my confidence. When we follow through what we say, it increases our confidence. Step three, I basically already said it, pointing and calling. It's a technique I learned from Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you're not reading the book, read the book. I am obsessed with this book and I'm letting it change my life. And pointing and calling is when you say something out loud that is happening, it absolutely helps you stay on track. The example in the book is like a train conductor. They point and call and say things so that everything is on track before they go and everybody is safe and whatnot. And you can apply it to everything. I apply it to my snacks. My version of pointing and calling is when all of my snacks are complete, if I still want more, I will say out loud, I finished all of my snacks for the evening, but I still want more. And when I say that out loud, I, I make that decision. Do I actually get more? Sometimes I do. Sometimes we go over, nobody's perfect. Or, oh, and how did I say it out loud? Nah, I don't really want anything else. Like, I know I can have it tomorrow and I'd rather stick with hitting my goals today and make it a part of my goals for tomorrow because anything can be included in a healthy diet. I'm sitting here with, I got apple slices. I made them in the shape of rainbows, you know. Rainbow Life. I have Cheetos here, Cheezies, the poofy kind. Amil and Steve like to share them. Teeny, you want a Cheezy? Good boy. Eat the Cheezy. Come on. You do it. He's so cute. I have a granola bar here that has like uh, peanuts and caramel in it. So not just the regular chocolate chip one and I have grapes like I got my two servings of fruit I got my mini McCain cake oh my gosh I'm obsessed with these now I found these at the grocery store these are incredible oh yes and I have water number four here it is started I'm a little bit late on my water but once I finish this water and finish all this food then I am done for the evening and I'm going to stick to that because I am in control and what I put into my body is one of the things that I can control so I'm going to do my best to hit my protein goal hit my calorie goal still get a bunch of vegetables in I know you don't see any vegetables here but I did have some earlier and fruit because fruit is important too I love you and I want you to reach your goals. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I make videos every Friday. They come out at noon and I hope to see you again soon. Popping back in to say that cute plates really help as well. Get some cute plates, dress it up, make it fancy. Don't just sit there and eat your Cheetos out of the bag and just be all boring. Make it fun. Bye. Love her when she dance, got me all stuck inside a trance. Hoping she don't have some other plans. Said you got a man? Yeah. Damn.